kick off the season, we turn to RIT, where we honor six members of the women's hockey team as our scholar athletes. RIT seniors Haley Northcote, Carly Payerl, Jess Patton, Mackenzie Stone, Taylor Thurston, and Caitlin Wallace were all named to the 2016 College Hockey America All-Academic Team. To receive this award, all players had to dress for the majority of the games, while maintaining a GPA of 3.5 or better. Besides being scholar athletes, both Thurston and Stone will serve as captains for the 2016-2017 season. They were selected for their strong representation of the program and leadership in their community. For their dedication to their sport and schoolwork, all six members are this week's scholar athletes. Now here's Dave with our college calendar. Here's our local college calendar for the week ahead. Tuesday sees Roberts Wesleyan taking on Brockport in volleyball, part of a big volleyball week with the University of Rochester Volleyball Invitational on Friday and Saturday. Fisher, Brockport, and Geneseo are among the schools participating. On Wednesday, the Yellow Jackets women's soccer team hosts Buffalo State. A couple of women's soccer games on Thursday to watch for with Brockport at St. John Fisher and Nazareth travels to SUNY Geneseo. Both those games are at 7 p.m. And on Friday, the Naz men host Uville at Golden Flyer Stadium. That is our college sports beat calendar. With the new season just starting, here's some Section 5 alums to keep an eye on this season at colleges outside of Rochester. It's a segment we call Postcards from College. Jake Zembeck, the standout QB from Aquinas, is expected to redshirt his first year with the Penn State Nittany Lions, but the future looks bright. Duran Jones, also of Aquinas, is a senior nose tackle at Notre Dame and is poised for a big year after missing last season with a torn MCL. Lindsey Ferentz, recent graduate of Penfield, is in her first year with the LeMoyne Dolphins soccer squad. University of Florida's Michaela Sargent just graduated from Victor and won the 2016 College Park Futures Championships in the 800 free, winning the race by over five seconds. Those are our postcards from college. Coming up next, our honor roll of teams and a look at what's new with Brockport football in our Monroe County Sports Commission Spotlight Team of the Week. All that and a lot more when the Fidelis Care College Sports Beat returns. <laughs> 